Hi students, we are doing question 4 and it is a person traveling on a straight line moves with a uniform velocity v1 for some time and with uniform velocity v2 for the next equal time. The average velocity v is given by and we are given with four options. So let us do this problem whenever we have to find the average velocity. First of all, we have to find the total displacement and then we divide this total displacement by total time taken. Total time taken or total time elapsed. Alright, so this is the formula for average velocity. So all we have to find is the total displacement. So total displacement would be Okay. First of all, we know that velocities given here are velocity v1 and velocity v2. The person travels with velocity v1 for some time t. Let this time some time be t. So, displacement would be v1 into t because displacement is equal to velocity into time and the same person travels with velocity v2 for the equal time here it is mentioned the time is equal so in the first chunk the person travels with velocity v1 for the, the time t and in the second chunk the person travels with velocity v2 for some time uh, for the equal time t so these when we multiply these velocity and time we get the displacements. So, total displacement would be we simply add the individual displacements that is v1 plus v1 into t plus v2 into t. So, this is the total displacement. So, which is equal to t we take out as a common and then v1 plus v2 and now we have to find total time elapsed. So total time elapsed is what? Total time elapsed is t plus t because we consider the we suppose the time t and the another chunk is uh, covered in the equal time. So t plus t is equal to 2t. All right. So now we simply use this formula. Average velocity is equal to total displacement upon total time taken. So, total displacement is t into v1 plus v2 and total time taken is 2t. And simply, t is cancelled. And what we see in the very first option, we get the answer v is equal to average velocity v is equal to v1 plus v2 upon 2. So, here it is v1 plus v2 upon 2. So, A is the right option.